It's Monday lunchtime before the Commonwealth Games opened, and here I am in Victoria Square. And this is where the Queen's Baton Relay will come through and be carried by the BBC on the One Show in a couple of days' time. BT is here to support the BBC in the filming of the Queen's Baton Relay. Um, by providing a 5G private network. Now, this isn't the first time we've worked with broadcasters on using 5G to carry live television. Just recently, we were at Saracens filming a rugby match where we built a private 5G network to cover the pitch. What we're doing here is using a completely standard 5G cell that BT would otherwise use for the emergency services network. And because of the power of BT, we're able to bring that resource and redeploy it for a different purpose, which is to enable the BBC to carry the television footage in this, a really, well, not now, but on Wednesday, a really crowded place full of people using their mobiles. If you were to use the public 4G or 5G network to carry television, you might not be able to guarantee the pictures would work. But if we build a private 5G network, we can. We're using a vehicle which was built and designed by our emergency services network for deployment across the country, providing coverage in really hard to reach places. At the base of the mast, we've got a comms cabinet which holds an entire network infrastructure deployment capability. So we've got a network core, which in this variant is a 5G network core and that is something that typically would be hosted in a large data center. We've taken this out because of its size. We've got this capability to be able to deploy remotely uh, and flexibly. The benefits of 5G here really are offering that uncontended network, massive amounts of bandwidth and a really low latency, which allows these live feeds to be delivered to BBC production facilities in really quick time and in a really reliable way. That's something that the BBC is unable to do over a standard public network, which may face contention. And the other aspect, which again is really important for media and broadcast, is the ability to have talkback and two-way links between the camera operator, the interviewee and the studio. From a BBC perspective, we're looking at these networks because we do think that there's opportunity to deploy them to support productions, both at the scale of the Commonwealth Games, but also potentially in studios and in other environments as well. So the advantage of working with a telecoms company means that we can actually let the telecoms company take care of the network side of things, and we just worry about the broadcast side of things. So we'll worry about the cameras and the connectivity into the network, and then uh, BT can worry about moving those signals around for us. The signal path today begins with the mobile viewpoint devices attached to the back of the cameras. What happens next is the signal travels across the 5G radio network and it lands at the 5G mobile cell that we've parked up here. The signal then enters the BT fibre network uh, where it runs to the internet gateway and then it traverses the internet. Now the signals are protected and they're secure. They then enter the BBC's internet gateway um, and then they traverse the BBC's internal network to BBC Broadcasting House in London to the production gallery for The One Show. So by using 5G connectivity, it's inherently an IP protocol which gives us the bi-directionality to move data off the camera, certainly, but also back into the camera operator so the camera operator can get his IFB, his audio commands, back to him so he knows what he's, he's supposed to be doing. And also, you can get video back into the unit so the camera operator and the presenting team can see what is being put out on the main programme feed. And with it being bi-directional and IP capable, it's very simple, standard IP infrastructure to set up. Technology's changing and IP end-to-end -end is definitely the future. 5G is IP, um, it's natively IP. It enables us to carry the signals in two directions. So we can carry the pictures out, we can carry talk back in return, we can carry camera control in return. There are many other technologies that we're looking at. Low Earth orbit satellites is one. Uh, using um, technologies like SRT over the internet is another. 
And we've talked a lot about Vena, our smart network. And Vena is a platform that will bring all of these things together uh, with a, a management layer that enables us to offer all of these technologies with high levels of availability for our broadcast customers.